I can remember when I was a graduate student um, watching some uh, Canadian therapist, I can't remember his name now, but basically what he would do is when the couple became upset with each other, he would stop the session and ask one of them to leave and go outside and calm down. <laughs> And then he'd basically say, naughty, naughty, you know, you're getting too emotional, go away, calm down, become an adult, restore, you know, your reflective faculties and then come back in and we'll teach you, you know, communication skills and how to have insight. And I can remember looking at this as a beginning therapist and thinking, goodness me, you'd be asking people to leave all the time. You know, you'd hardly have any people in your office for, but, um, that was the kind of idea and and the other thing about that one is I think if you don't trust something you don't particularly understand it and you so you don't know how to use it it makes absolute sense to avoid it in therapy okay. but what has happened particularly over the last 30 years and I'm I feel proud that EFT emotionally focused couples therapy has been part of this I think also attachment, seeing human personality and human development in terms of attachment has been part of this. What has happened is that we have started to understand emotion and as we've started to understand it, I think then it seems not to be so strange and not so foreign and we've also started to really look at it. I mean in, in EFT um, for couples, it's very clear of study after study after study. There's about 16 outcome studies on EFT now with all kinds of different partners, but the results are consistent that the people who can have these highly emotional conversations, putting out their softer emotions to each other, talking about their fears and their emotional needs to each other in the second stage of EFT, um, that absolutely predicts that they're going to have repaired their relationship at the end of therapy and that two or three years time in follow-up they'll be just fine so okay. we've always seen the power of emotion in EFT um, and I think that's what it is it's you know for us yes it's difficult especially to deal with a couple in conflict especially you know emotions are very strong they can sweep you up they can sweep the therapist up you know but the bottom line is if you know how to use them and create these incredible uh, emotional conversations, the power of them is amazing. 